Hey there everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com and I have a video for you specifically revolving around the functional diesel exhaust smoke that we are attempting to implement in this gargantuan 130 second scale US Vallejo class submarine. Went through one iteration, I'm going to show you why we steered away from it and what we ended up doing. So if you follow my channel, and I sincerely hope you do, you'll have seen, I posted up uh, a short video showing the smoke billowing from the uh, model as we had it sitting on there, utilizing the first version of our smoke system. Now that one is built around sort of the traditional smoke system that uses glycerin burned to actually create smoke. Now the, the challenge with that, and I'll show you what we came up with, is that we need an air intake for the air pumps to draw air in and blow out here. We needed receiver power to tie into a, uh, a throttle output from the model. And then we needed power to go to the unit. So you can see we've got, you know, inputs and outputs. We've got a snorkel here. We've got, you know, two power connections. Basically, there's a lot that could potentially go wrong. We've got a, a voltage regulator inside, and these were the units that I got off of eBay. And they're super cheap. They're like 20 bucks a piece. Unfortunately, it has a couple of drawbacks. One, you can see all kinds of oil in here. So these units leak. They're leaking oil all over the place. It's a mess. Um, don't like it. They're also a pain to refill. There's like a little tiny rubber nozzle right in there. You gotta pop that out and inject glycerin in there with like a syringe and then recap it. It produces beautiful smoke. Let's not, let's not debate that. It made beautiful smoke. But if you know me, you know that the one thing that I really subscribe to is the KISS principle. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. And this is about as far from simple as you could possibly get. So, what actually prompted us to switch finally at the end was these units ended up um, taking a dump on us. For whatever reason, they ended up drawing a tremendous amount of current through the receiver. It burned out one of our receivers uh, and then hit the reset every time we tried to do it. We finally determined these were pulling like five amps um, through the receiver, which was obviously not a good thing. So we decided to reset, rethink, and re-implement a new smoke system for the boat. Let me show you what we came up with. So the secret behind our new system is actually in a misting unit that you can put in an aquarium or like the little water fountains you have for your desk. Now we went with some heavy duty high output units. Now the beauty of this is all they need is electricity. You don't need oil, you don't need heating elements, you don't need anything like that. If we take a look at what we've got here, previously these exhaust outlets were mounted to that hull and we were actually finding they were breaking off quite a bit because we were dropping the hull on them and they were breaking loose. Now they're all part and parcel of the upper hull themselves. So at the bottom here you can see the misting units themselves. They're just little tiny hockey pucks basically. And they use ultrasonics to vaporize water. So on the other side here we've got some inlets for the water. The water fills up these chambers to about this point, about halfway. And you want the, the output nozzle to be about two centimeters below the water level. Once these start up, basically the entire top part of the chamber fills with a high density mist. These uh, inlet tubes allow that mist to exit via the exhaust ports. Now, if you didn't have a way to force it out, it wouldn't actually come out. And that is where this little air pump comes in. Um, it just blows a nice gentle breath into the unit, pressuring it up a little bit and forcing all that mist out of the four exhaust ports. Now, this is like the fourth iteration because we were finding that uh, water was condensing in the tubes and so we needed to use different materials at different angles and different inputs and 
we finally got it working. And I'm sure you're all looking at this right now. There's that demographic of you saying, I really don't care, just show it to me working. So, hey, this next part's for you. Okay, we've got the uh, the simulator all rigged up here. Basically, it's a little pot of, of, of water here, a little container of water. And that water level is roughly where the boat is supposed to float in surfaced trim. So this is uh, simulating the water that this system is gonna have access to at the correct level. So now I'm gonna plug both of these in. Oops, I got this on the wrong side, there we go. Now, we're not quite there yet. We're gonna have these battery operated and they're gonna be on a float switch. So when the model submerges, the units will turn off. But right now, um, if you look real close inside, you can see it's all full of vapor. There's water droplets and just a really thick vapor making it completely opaque and see-through in there. So I'm gonna power up our little air pump here and let's see what happens. Oops. So we've got this like nice steady stream of simulated exhaust that's nothing more than nice cool water vapor. No oil, no smoke, no heating elements. And this is about, I think, the, the level of output that I want the pump to be pushing that steam out, that water vapor out. So, there you go. Um, in theory, this is going to work really, really good. The only thing we have left now is to gut that old smoke system and reuse that watertight container to house the 6S lithium polymer battery that is going to drive these misting units, as well as the air pump, and ultimately the, uh, the float switch on the outside. With that, we're gonna leave off. That's how we executed a smoke system as this boat gets finished up, as it gets to its lake trials. You'll see it in operation. But until then, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot at the Dry Docks. I'm Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus DryDocks.com, and I thank you for joining me. We'll catch you next time.